Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and today we are going to understand how to unbreak our Moto G4 Plus in case anything went wrong and you break your device so how you can unbreak it and how you can bring it back to life so ideally you can unbreak it via recovery you can always uh, bore into recovery and you can restore a backup which you took however if your device is not responding at all which happened to me once everything uh, the screen was blank and and I was not able to boot to bootloader or even into recovery to restore a backup or do anything else. So what do you do in that situation? So we are going to work on it and we are going to see how we can bring the phone back to life. So let's get started. Okay, so to reproduce this brick uh, that happened to me, I have downloaded a previous version of the ROM stockroom that we have. So the rule of thumb says that if you have upgraded to a version of a ROM, you should never downgrade. Like if you have updated to a version of Android 7.0, you should not go back to 6.0. Because if you go back to 6.0 and you take an OTA for 7.0 again, you might break your device. That is a basic rule of thumb that you should never, you should always follow. Never downgrade. So that is a mistake which I did. I downgraded the device and I upgraded again. So it caused me this trouble which I'm going to show it right here. So I am going to splash this ROM, uh, the downgrade version of the ROM again, just to see if we can do something, we can reproduce that break that I already had. Okay, so I have it here. I am going to change this to BAT so that, yeah, I'm going to flash this. Let's see if that can uh, create the brick on my phone I am not sure whether it will so as you can see the bootloader did not flash uh, if I can see here bootloader did not flash here since it was a downgrade let's see if we can work this out okay so the device is set up you can see that I have a system update I'm going to take it uh, it's 40 MB update. Let's take it. It will take a little time to install. Takes one minute. It will take a little time to go ahead and install this ROM. Okay, so everything is stock here. I have not installed any uh, kernel or custom recovery everything is stock I am hoping it will do something if it doesn't we can still go ahead and we, I'll explain the process that goes on so I think it worked and my device is not able to boot anymore after that update so that might happen with you as well if you downgrade stock so let's hope it goes back to bootloader which it will not I'm very sure so it is not working it's just light is blinking here so let's hop back and let's see what we can do okay so we were here let's work on I have this drivers already here let me install them again so since I already installed them they're ready to use and I'll finish it I'll go back and I'll use the blank flash I'll go back and I'll use blank flash not bad let's see if it can do something if it doesn't move ahead I'm I'll, I'll try to press this power button once press and hold or press this so that didn't work I'm going to install the drivers again not this one 64 bit is my system so I'm going to install it so both of them are ready to use so let's check if we have device connected and device manager or not you can check it in ports so Qualcomm this is the one which is our device so if I remove this it should go away see it does there is no port available so when I reconnect it I have this Qualcomm here so it's working Let's go back to blank flash file and let's see if we can do anything about it. 
if it does not detect try it once again it will detect and we are done here so see we have finally unplugged our device which is the bootloader is finally here and we have flashed bootloader we have emmc which is the internal memory and some more stuff which i don't know about so yeah it is working uh i it took approximately one hour for me to get this working the sole reason behind this was my usb motorola drivers were not updated so if you have already installed the drivers uninstall them and install them again or you will get error and you will always be stuck on um, waiting for firehose to get ready for the next 10 minutes approximately okay so once the blank flash dot bat has worked the screen will look something like that and then what you need to do is you need to download the latest uh, firmware which is 2593 which is the very very latest one so once you have downloaded this i will leave the link in the description so extract all the contents here it's approximately 2 gb so it's going to a little time uh, about 45 seconds it says so this is the blank flash actually actually worked and now we need to flash the partition we cannot use any of the previous uh, versions of the stock os because that will again downgrade the security patch version which will again break our device if we take another ota so that is not going to work so we need the latest one very very latest one i was trying like for one hour the blank flash and i later on realized that i did not actually have the latest usb drive is installed so before doing anything before uh, uh, taking up this procedure please make sure you uninstall the already installed uh, drivers of the moto and install the moto drivers again moto usb drivers again so let's just copy all of this stuff into our adb directory no, that's a blank flash uh, okay. adb directory and once this is done we are going to flash few uh, just two commands of flashing needs to be done and then we can flash the ROM once everything is set so that we can complete this unbreaking uh, video for our Moto G4 Plus device. It is a little hectic, uh, it, is, it is one of the most difficult videos I have ever had recording and it took a, actually it took a lot of time. This is the worst, worst case scenario that can actually happen and we have a solution to it finally. So yeah, this should work. This, this procedure will work will always work with your phone unless you have a, any hardware failure so i don't think that there, are, there is going to be much of a problem with this so i am just going to shift right click here power shell i am going to open a partial window and i'm going to flash fast food flash partition gpt dot bin so okay we have gpt image that's done next is going to be flash boot loader boot loader dot img once we have this and everything is installed let us reboot to the bootloader so yes we are back on and the bootloader is working again everything is back to normal now once we have this we can go ahead and install this ROM. I don't know if we have any bat file here for it. So there's no bat file attached with this. So I'll just copy this and I'll paste it in a txt file. Let's name this as OEM flash and paste all of this here. Once we're done with this fast boot reboot uh, let me see everything is in yeah everything works fine let's save this Control s and close this and change the extension to bat bat almost done it's just going to take a little while now the system is rebooting so yep we have Moto G4 plus back on 
finally it took a lot of time for me as well i think i broke that completely <laughs> while making this video but patience did work out properly i will have great sound now here it is finally back on how good is that voice now come on so we, i'm just going to set it up oh no i don't know that language okay so we are here and setting the device is complete okay so we are here and finally we are right back running everything is working fine as usual and we have successfully unbraked moto g4 plus so thank you so much for watching guys i hope you will like this video if you like my work please like and subscribe my channel so that i can make more videos for you there are more things coming on your way which will be i will be explaining how to install exposed framework over uh, moto g4 plus 7.0 so stay tuned thank you so much guys have a good day